I first. Look, folks, I'm not going to dismantle this one. Even the for the main exam? features, even for the exam, not this one. I can dismantle this one. Okay. You know, there are three tunics or three layers of eyeball. Okay? Mm -hmm. The, what is this called? This is called sclera, the white of the eyeball. The eyeball is, eyeball is attached to six extrinsic muscles. You need to know them and it's easy to remember. These muscles are one time straight muscle called rectus, another is oblique. There are four rectus muscles and two oblique muscles. This is the superior rectus. Okay? Below, if you look below, it, you'll see the inferior rectus. And this is the lateral rectus. This, this cannot be medial or median, okay? This is lateral rectus. This is medial rectus here. And how do you know? This is the nose. The nose is not on the lateral side. Another thing with the big eyeball, you will see, this is the lacrimal gland. This is the gland that produces tears. Yeah? And some people very hyperactive. Mm -hmm. A little bit of harsh word. Or menopausal. Yeah. Or menopausal. Yeah? And one, 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 oh, one oh, eye, oh, the Rhine. Yeah. Another eye, the Danube. <laughs> Did you get that? Yeah? No, I'm just kidding. And look here, this is called the cornea. And you can see what from here? Iris. Okay? This is the anterior chamber. So this chamber is filled with a fluid called aqueous humor. I will not be able to show you aqueous humor, but I will be able to show you the vitreous humor which is inside in the posterior chamber, in the posterior cavity that gives the shape of the eyeball. And this is, what is this? Optic nerve. The optic nerve. The optic nerve enters the eyeball, and where it enters into the eyeball, that region is free of any photoreceptors. Did I talk about photoreceptors? I did, I think. A little bit, very little. The, the cones and mm -hmm. the rods, the cones for color vision and rods for gray vision. And there is a region called macula lutea that has a center called fovea centralis. There is a maximum concentration of cones, and that represents, that gives the visual equity. Now, if I may dismantle this one. This is the cornea. On top of, I mean, below, I mean, lining the eyelid, there is a membrane called conjunctiva. Do that. It goes above. Conjunctiva, when inflamed, is called conjunctivitis, the pink eye. Mm. I will not be able to show you conjunctiva here. If I want you to identify conjunctiva, I have to use a diagram. Okay? Top left. All right. Now here also you can see the superior rectus, inferior rectus, lateral rectus, and medial rectus. But how do you know this is medial rectus? How do you know? Because of this. This is a tendon that is attached to the eyeball. This tendon belongs to the muscle called superior oblique muscle. Can you see that superior oblique muscle? You have identified superior rectus, inferior rectus, medial rectus, and lateral rectus. Here is the superior oblique, and look at the bottom, inferior oblique. Look here, inferior oblique, okay? So here, we don't have the lacrimal gland, but this tendon, tendon of the, mid, of the superior oblique, and superior oblique is located 
where? On the median region, not the lateral. Okay, there you go. <laughs> this is cornea, this is sclera. And then there is a pigment, pigmented layer called choroid. This is choroid. You see that? Choroid. Choroid in front, this is part of the sclera. Here, this is the iris. And this hole is called the? Pupil. Pupil. So, I see my pupil through the pupil. Oh, no. <laughs> so my pupils. How, how many years have you been saying that? Yeah. Every semester, I'll every summer. <laughs> but look on the other side of the iris. You see a serrated, colored, pigmented. It's called the ciliary body. Okay? And this is called retina. Retina, you see here too. This. Okay, let us talk about the ciliary body. This is the lens. Mm -hmm. What is the spelling? L E N S. No E. No lens. <laughs> no lens, plural lenses. Then you have to add one E, yeah? Okay. Uh, the lens is held by the ciliary muscle of the ciliary body. This is what it does, it refracts light. It refracts light. And the light is refracted through, this, this is gelatinous, gel-like, gel-like consistency. But this is plastic. Mm -hmm. And this is called vitreous body or vitreous humor. Vitreous body, vitreous humor. I think when I talked about body fluids, I mentioned. Mm -hmm. I mentioned the gel like. Yeah, vitreous body, vitreous humor, aqueous humor, limb, all these, these are body fluids. Okay. Mm -hmm. Vitreous humor is also, it keeps the shape of the eyeball and also it refracts light. And light is refracted where? Onto the screen. What is the name of the screen? Retina. Mm. And you can see that uh, circular region there, circular, on the outer side, can you see the circular region? This is truncated optic nerve. The optic nerve is cut. Mm. And where, look here, the optic nerve enters, that region is free of photoreceptors, and that is called the optic disc or the blind spot. Which one? Here. Where the optic nerve where the optic nerve enters inside. Mm -hmm. So when okay. any object is on the blind spot, you don't see. When we drive, we could see a car coming from back, but when you can determine your, like, like this, you know, you can determine if you see, it's okay. Now it is on the blind spot, you don't see. Do you get that? Mm -hmm. And slightly anterior to the blind spot or optic disc, there is a little pigmented spot. You can see number 13. That is not given in your study guide. That is the macula lutea, okay? It could be for bonus. Let me see. Can you Which see one? that pink Which one? one? Which one are you pointing? Oh, the, where it says 13. Yeah. Okay. That is? And the center of which is called the central phobia, or phobia centralis. Yeah. Maculophobia, you said? It is macula lutea. Lutea, okay, thank you. Macula lutea is not mentioned there. That's it about eyeball, okay? Now, let's go for the ear. <laughs>